Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to make use of Salesforce Bulk API 2.0 to insert lead records. I'm going to make use of Postman client to connect to the Bulk API 2.0 API and then I'm going to do the lead insertion. So we need a connected app. I created a connected app. Using the manage consumer details, I was able to get the consumer key and consumer secret. Because we need access token to do all the bulk API 2.0 operations. So I created a connected app. And first we have to do a post request to your my domain URL slash services slash OR2 slash token. In that we have to pass client ID client secret which we got it from the connected app and the grant type I'm making use of client credentials once we uh, do this we will get a access token from Salesforce using the access token we have to first create a job in order to create a bulk API 2.0 job we have to do a post request to your my domain URL slash services slash data slash version slash jobs slash ingest in the header we have to pass authorization as the key and the value should be bearer space the access token which we got it from the previous uh, endpoint post request in the body we have to mention what is the object we are going to insert and the operation content type i'm making use of a comma separated value um, file a csv file line editing i am setting it to crlf once we do this it will create a job and then we will get the job id get the job id so this is going to be the job id which i am going to make use of it next we have to do a post put request to your my domain url slash services slash data slash version slash jobs slash ingest slash the job id which we got it from the previous request slash batches here in the header it is similar authorization uh, should be the key and the value should be bearer space the access token in the body we have to select the csv file um, this is stored in my uh, pc uh, i have also shared this sample csv in my blog post so please check the video description so if i do a send send to uh, for this put request then it would have created the batch now i have to close the batch so that it will do the insertion in order to do that you have to do a post sorry patch request to the to your my domain url slash services slash data slash v uh, version number slash jobs slash ingest slash uh, the job id in the header we have to pass authorization value key should be uh, the key and the value should be bearer space the access token in the body we have to set the state to upload complete so that uh, uh, it will complete uh, it will uh, notify the job saying that uh, hey the csv file is uploaded and we are done with this batch i'm not going to further add any additional batches to it next if you wanted to know the status of the job then you can make a get request to this endpoint URL your domain my domain URL slash services slash data slash version number slash jobs slash ingest slash the job ID once we do a get request in the header we have to pass authorization as the key and the value should be bearer space access token so it says that the job is complete so it should have created the lead records to me please check the video description in the video description i have shared my blog post from the blog post you should be able to get the sample csv that was used to create these leads and also the steps for setting up this connected app I hope it was helpful.
Thank you for watching.